Hello, and welcome to the Pest Control Marketing Podcast with your host, me, Hal Coleman, uncensored and unplugged. Pay attention, take lots of notes, because you're going to find out exactly how to get more new customers, more referrals, and grow your business. Hal Coleman has been active in the pest control industry for over 40 years, including owning and operating his own successful pest control business for 18 years. He now devotes his time to helping other PCOs and other WCOs double, triple, and even quadruple their businesses faster than they ever imagined. Be sure to check out his website, pestcontrolmarketer.com. For more information about Hal's coaching program, you can reach him at 770-993-0004 or email him hal at halcoleman.com. Mike Stewart is known as the Internet Audio and Video Guy. Since the birth of the Internet, Mike has been showing small business owners how to get more new customers, increase their sales, and grow their businesses online using audio and video, now with iPhones and Android phones. For more information about Mike's coaching program and his online training courses, visit MikeStewartCoaching.com or email him Mike at InternetAudioGuide.com. Hello, this is Hal Coleman. Welcome to another episode of the Pest Control Marketing Podcast, where we talk about your pest control business and things you can do to get your business on a faster growth track. And as usual, I'm here with my friend, my buddy, my mentor, and my business partner, Mike Stewart, who's cozily tucked away somewhere up in Nashville. Uh, how you doing, Mike? I'm great today, buddy. Uh, we're here to help people know the marketing world online and offline. Yep. And, uh, you know, that you and I have a mutual friend, Jim Ziegler, uh, who's kind of a mentor also. When Jim does what I do in the pest control industry, he does in the automotive industry. He's, he teaches people how to grow their automobile dealerships and, uh, and uh, a lot, lot of other stuff in that industry too. But Jim's, Jim's had some struggles here uh, this year, physical struggles, and hopefully he's going to be okay. And I've been keeping up with him on LinkedIn. He's still doing some awesome videos. And uh, But about 15 years ago, uh, I, w- I went to a uh, – he invited me to come to a presentation he was going to do up at Georgia State University campus in Alpharetta. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and he uh, – I heard him say something, and I, I've heard him say it several times, is there's no problem – you can have in your business that you can't sell your way out of. Mm -hmm. And selling is not just giving a product to somebody and taking their money. It's not just the exchange of a good or a service, but selling is, 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 uh, is convincing someone to comply with your wishes or you have an idea, convincing them to run with idea. Selling is simply getting people to do what you want them to do. And so uh, that that is so important because, you know what, Mike, very few people put a lot of time and effort into learning how to sell. I mean, in the pest control industry and other home service industries, you know, we we lack when it comes to selling. Most of the people in our industry are are more of glorified closures or glorified order takers than they are actually salespeople. Uh, uh, one example of really true selling in our business is, is door-to-door selling. Now, that's true selling. But but just taking a lead over the phone when somebody calls in and says, can you come out and give me an estimate? See, they've already found you. And they, to a degree, have already decided to, to probably do business with you because they called you. That was their decision to reach out to you, and all you got to do is not blow it, and you'll make the sale. But uh, uh, so so selling comes in all forms. But very few people. If if you ask people here again, now uh, if if you were in the life insurance business, it would be different because it's one hundred percent cold calling type selling it you know larry latimer used to talk to me a lot about it uh the the things they did it when he was with metlife for a lot of years teaching people how to sell uh and uh but if you ask the average person how many books have you ever read on selling how many seminars and workshops have you ever been to 
just specifically teaching you how to sell, uh, how to build that powerful, dynamic, compelling, hypnotic, seductive, and irresistible presentation that someone just simply cannot say no to. It's just irresistible, making them an offer that they can't refuse, learning how to find them and how to get that message to them. Uh, uh, that's probably the last thing on a lot of people's list is learning how to be that type of a salesperson. Uh, and and when times uh, get tough, we go into a recession. And as we're in right now, uh, uh, on uh, uh, this day, March 19th, uh, 2020, we're, we're dealing with the coronavirus, which is a real slump and a real slowdown. Boy, one thing that you're going to really have to do is learn how to sell your way out of this. You know how to how to cut more deals. You may be have to cut a deal with your mortgage company or your service providers. You may have to cut a deal with uh, your uh, your fleet cost. You know you're going to have to be selling a, a lot of things to a lot of people right now. Besides just selling pest control services. So learning how to sell, learning how to how to communicate with that true buyer, which is the subconscious mind, uh, and and how to communicate with it directly and tell it the things it needs to hear in order to make a decision uh, to say yes to you. Because, you know, they're going to say yes to somebody. So you really owe it to yourself and your customer to make it easy for them to say yes to you and make a good decision. So, and and that, that's, uh, that's not just offline, but uh, online, too. It's the same thing, isn't it, Mike? Yeah, well, sure, sure. You know, you've, you've got to um, figure out how you're going to um, – golly, I lost my train of thought. I'm going to have to edit this. I had a brain fart. Sorry. First, first one in a long time. That's all right. Um, what? What? Tell me what you were talking about there. Just so I said, I said it's the same online, isn't it, Mike? I know, but but the, the kind of consensus of, of your point. Okay, I was talking about how you've got to be able to to learn how to commu- communicate directly with the subconscious and and make it easy for somebody to say yes to you and and be compliant with you, and you owe it to them to do that because they're going to spend their money with somebody you or somebody so you need to learn enough about selling so that you can persuade them to do business with you and that's the same uh online isn't it mike well yes because when you're okay pick up here well i obviously uh how online is just another form delivery of the same messages so so you know when you have a website and you're trying to make money or you're online and you're trying to create information you should be trying to convince and negotiate and the better uh uh more persuasive you are the more transparent you are the more honest you are the more um uh, clarity to your marketing message you know we call it what's in it for me you know uh not the uh th- that's what well, the, the person viewing your message they're not concerned what's in it for you they're concerned what's in it for them there's never been a more important time than now to have clarity to your message and make sure that that you're doing the right message that sells and negotiates uh, the the things to, to do so that your business will you know thrive during these bad times. So you know just because it's online, it's still human beings consuming the information and processing it, and and you're trying to say it in such a way that it reaches the subconscious. So I I to, totally in agreement that you know. Um, you've got to do things differently than your, your competition. Uh, you've got to, uh, make sure that you've got a clear, uh, unique selling proposition and you got to make sure that you're speaking to the subconscious, uh, and you've got more people that you've got to negotiate and, and create those relationships with now, now more than ever to, to get to the end of this, um, time that we're, we're you know here in march 2020 that we're experiencing so um that's why we felt it was a need to to address the time because uh you know you prepare for bad times when times are good and if you were enjoying the good times and not preparing uh by doing all the things you could do to lay a foundation to get that message out there it it can be a bigger struggle than it needs to be 
And now here's a word from our sponsor. Google Pest Control Marketing. Grow your business like never before. Call 770-993-0004. Did you hear that? That is a jingle. But more than that, it is an audio logo and what I call a marketing earworm. But you know, that's a bug, that's a worm you want in your local market on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, and podcasts like you're listening to right now. Yes, you should do a podcast as a PCO, but we'll talk about that another time. You want your market singing Google your name, what you do, and your phone number. Simple, but it works. If you want to cash in on this marketing bonanza, go to PestControlMarketingJingles.com to learn more. Or just call me, Mike Stewart, at 770-826-3662. Or call Hal Coleman at 770-993-0004. And we would love to show you how to do what we call search and call advertising with earworms. And oh yeah, it works on that old-timey technology of radio and television. Why don't you call us today and learn more? Google Pest Control Marketing. Grow your business like never before. Call 770-993-0004. You know, I went to uh, uh, a Dan Kennedy Super Conference, an international marketing conference up in Nashville at the Opryland Hotel. Uh, oh, and, and this has probably been uh, close to 15 years ago. And one of the speakers there, the, the crowd was about 2,000 people, and, and one of the... Uh, Speakers was George Ross. Uh, he was an attorney, I, and I think I, I may be wrong. I think he was Donald Trump's father's attorney, and then he became, you know, one of Donald's top advisors and attorney also. Now he's way up in his eighties now. I, I don't know that he's even still living. He may be, but uh, I bought a book there by George Ross and uh, on how to negotiate a powerful he's one of the top negotiators you know uh, he, that's what he's known for tough negotiations so I, I, I bought this book and came back and read it and it, it was not, it was a big it was a thick it was a real book it was not a pamphlet book believe me but i just learned things in there and i'm it's it's one of those times when i was just you know every few pages i would say nobody in my industry knows this stuff very few business small business people know this stuff. Oh my gosh, it was so powerful. And and you know, there are a lot of good books and there are audio programs and there are a lot of George Rosses out there with different things that they can teach you uh, on on selling, marketing, adver- advertising, negotiating, uh, deal making, offer making. Uh, oh my gosh, it's endless. And the more of that you put into your brain, which is nothing more than a human computer, the more information that you program in there, uh, the better data you get back out. So uh, when times are slow, you know, learn how to sell, learn how to sell, make it a goal, learn how to sell, read 10 books on selling. They are how to close deals, how to negotiate, how to sell, how to get people to comply, how to communicate with the subconscious, the art of the science of persuasion, the the science of art of influence. Uh, you know, the, the the amount of great materials out there. So fill your brain up with this stuff, and you'll be surprised. You will amaze yourself at, at what comes back out when you're in front of a customer, uh, and you're trying to negotiate a sale or a deal. Uh, So uh, there's no problem that you can't sell your way out of if you're a good enough salesperson. So our entire, you know, uh, management of employees, accounting, bookkeeping, all of that stuff is important. But if you can't sell and you can't market and you don't have enough customers, none of that matters. You won't have employees to manage. You won't have customers to deliver customer service to because uh, you got to know how to get them. And that that's that's all c- comes under selling also. So close well, it out, Mike. Leave us with a good tidbit here, a good gold nugget. Well, uh, you know, filling your brain 
with positive stuff when there's so much negativity around you. You know, negativity fluctuates. It goes up and down. And, and, and of course, there's all kinds of things that can create negativity in the market. So what you need to do is, you, like, you, your brain and your subconscious is a computer. So garbage in, garbage out. So you need to get good information in to, to outweigh the garbage. And one way you can do that is call Hal Coleman at 770-993-0004. Hal has always been willing and would probably give you a little bit more time because of uh, of the situation that we're in here in March of 2020. Uh, he will spend the time with you to evaluate and educate you to things that you're not doing. You have to do things that others don't do if you expect to stand out. And that's what Hal can evaluate. Uh, this con- this is not something that was just an idea last week. This came from years and years of experience that Hal did by owning his own um, business and turning it in, as he says, from a spray can to a million-dollar business, man- one man with a spray can. And uh, so call him. Call him today. You got the time. We know you got the time. You don't need to be wringing your hands and worrying. Call Hal at 770-993-0004 and get to know Hal on a one-on-one level. Do a Zoom meeting, zoom.us. Do a Skype meeting with him uh, and let him evaluate things that you can do that will make you extraordinary and stand out from the crowd because that's what you need to be doing now as opposed to waiting till when it ends. And same with you, Mike. You offer the same thing I do. You offer a free, uh, what do you call your hour? It's just a consultation. It's a, it's a, a, a way for you and I to get to know each other. Make sure we're a good fit. See if you like what I have to share with you. Um, I'll give you resources, even if you don't even spend a penny, because I always know there's a uh, a law of reciprocity. When you give, you get. And in fact, that was one of the uh, slogans of one of my networkers, uh, uh, givers gain. And so uh, I, I'm not really worried about getting into your uh, budget right now. I'm I'm more concerned about making sure that you know what we're about and experiencing it rather than trying to get a commitment of business before you know what you're getting into. In fact, you should do that as well. Any way you can give to your market, uh, you should do the same thing. So call me at 770-826-3662. And uh, Hal, I'm going to get out of here, and I have a virtual meeting today, so I need to get to it. I'm going to do the same thing, Mike. Always fun doing this, folks. It's always fun sharing with you. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. Thanks for listening to the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast in iTunes and on your phones and in Stitcher on your Android. But more importantly, go to our website, pestcontrolmarketingpodcast.com, subscribe to our email list to always be notified of new episodes. You're never going to want to miss what we've got coming up next, and you never know what we're going to be able to do to help you with your pest control marketing.